The cameras are fixed to one man. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. And hello on a very pleasant day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City versus Nottingham Forest. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the final tackle. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. introducing the visitors lineup today well it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3 but they've got to be effective both with their dribbling and their crosses otherwise they'll become bit part players Aina Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, what a start he's had to the season. He looks so sharp at the moment, and his finishing has been lethal. There's every chance he'll add to his tally today. It was a successful day at the office for Manchester City in their last game as they won against West Ham United. How might this one go, Stuart? That away victory was a really good performance. Today I'm expecting a similar outcome because they have that little bit of extra quality. It will be tight though. Smuggled away. Hudson-Odoi. Toffolo. Failure to keep the ball by Nottingham Forest. Oh, oh that's textbook goalkeeping. Delivering it. Textbook defending inside the box. Oh, tremendous vision. Morgan gives White. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Yates. Murillo. Morgan gives White. Wood with it. Committed challenge. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. <laughs> Willie Bolly. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Ryan Yates. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Alvarez. Vardiol. Walker. win the throw following that challenge well when you sit off like this you invite pressure can he convert set pieces can be so important let's see what City have been working on playing it in that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Wasn't a great piece of passing. De Bruyne. 
released it nicely. Can they nudge in front? A goal! And the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, that's a pretty good finish. He just put his head down and smashed it past the keeper. There was no stopping that, was there? White. Well, inching towards the break and City in front here. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your assessment as regards their performance. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. De Bruyne. Phil Foden now. And he did well to cut it out. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then here at the Etihad Stadium. got things going again here and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us and the timing was perfect ball one Oh, nice ball. Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester City facing Wolves. in the middle hudson O'Doy. Wood very alert defending to put a stop to the chance for the perfect tackle really and now a throw in De Bruyne now with Silva Holland. That's a promising attack launched by De Bruyne. And just flicked off the defender. So a corner coming up. Put in by De Bruyne. Delightful pass. And a chance to rivet in here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Nottingham Forest facing Brentford. All of your friends and family. Promising pass. Danger still on. And the move breaks down. De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball moving into the advanced position and Chris Wood no possibilities in the centre well, a 
Textbook interception. Ruben Dias. Walker now. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. And it's a quality pass. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Toffolo. That's excellent defending following the cross. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Alvarez. Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden and unable to keep possession Morgan Gibbs White that's a good looking ball well what a fantastic save that was he'll certainly be grabbing the headlines if it stays like this well it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping but he has to remain on his toes. Ryan Yates. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Aina. Murillo. On the attack in the closing phase. Morgan Gibbs White. Really good block. Here to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, found wanting in the throwing department there. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? And that's the end of his story today. He's off. Well, I can't believe he's done that. He was always going to be in trouble after that challenge. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Diaz. The ball with Rodri. Very quick thinking there. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel-good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today. But overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.